What's going on? It's Jason Heath, and I have been having such a great time digging into Quisky Rickening by Michael Kurth. It's a theme and set of variations, and I had the chance to actually hang out with Michael a little bit in person when I was in Atlanta and talk through what inspired him to write this piece. It is super fun. It's available in our sheet music store. There's a link in the description below. So I'm going to play through each movement and give you some reactions. Hope you enjoy. Let's check out the theme, and William is bored right now, so he may be making some noise in the background. Sorry about that. I got so enamored by this piece when I first discovered it, and one thing I love about Michael's writing is he makes it sound like there are more strings than there are, more notes going on like there than there are. So this harmonic right here, having this wonderful second that just resolves into that major third. What a beautiful sound. And then trying to connect this into this. Uh, this is not an etude, but you could almost use it like an etude for connecting between all the different notes on the bass. Just really lovely development. I love all these resolutions. I can measure nine. Oh, so fun to play. Uh, then over here. And then... So a couple of that wasn't the best in tune, <laughs> but the, a couple of uh, kind of finger substitutions and crossing the strings, nothing too crazy. This is a piece that a uh, talented high school player could dig into, certainly, and it's something that I'm planning on playing on future recitals. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Swicky Tritching, and pronouncing these is part of the fun. This is just a beautiful alternation between these pizzas and then these closed notes to harmonics. So getting this flow, again, kind of like the theme, making everything connect. The challenge with this is you're doing these different techniques, but you still want that kind of gentle flowing character. So again, kind of like an etude in some ways, just practicing these moves, but not an etude, just a beautiful piece of music. And then you can go over there for that B, so much fun. And just moving around the bass, trying to make it seem nice and easy is part of the fun. Now we get a little bit more active in terms of tempo and notes, sickly twitching, another <laughs> good title. And this sits in this low thumb position area right here on the bass. It takes me a couple minutes to practice and kind of get into the vibe of this. And I'm trying to kind of go, I tend to rush, I probably rush in that recording, but I try to go to the end of the second bar every single time. Then we get these great lines on the D string or the G string kind of building. And just so much fun. I like how it playfully dissolves at the end. Then, new place. Then. Then. And. Or.
Quickly thickening is a little bit of kind of like, it feels like a violin virtuoso piece a little bit. Sits really well on the bass once you figure out where all these things are. <laughs> Super fun. And then this little bot code is great. And then this little uh, descent and chromatic line. Really, really fun. I love this ending. So charming, just these fourths and harmonics. That's a look at Quisky Reckoning. I am loving this piece, and if you dig this piece, check out this next video we've got linked up.